Hello, this is Vlablonsky. Today I'm seeking out some fried chicken. More specifically, a kind of Vietnamese fried chicken. It has a distinctive reddish-orange color and an unusual name. I'm getting this fried chicken and another tasty bird as well. Come along with me. It's going to be delicious. Okay, it is cold and windy today and uh, very blustery and chilly. And I was passing through Wheaton, Maryland in Montgomery County, uh, which is north of Washington, D.C., and I had to stop at Mi La Ke. <laughs> it's a Vietnamese restaurant that's popular in the area, and they serve a very famous chicken dish. It's called Maryland Chicken. <laughs> uh, it's a leg quarter, dark meat, it's fried, it has a very orangey red exterior, and it's served on a bed of tomato rice, which is also very brightly colored. And it has some pickles, a cucumber wedge, a slice of tomato, and it has a kind of reddish dipping sauce that goes with it. I don't know what exactly that is, but uh, why is a dish called Maryland chicken? A Maryland, if you don't know, is a state in the United States it uh, surrounds the capital city of Washington, D.C., and it's across the Potomac River from the state of Virginia. And I spent a lot of time in Maryland and in Virginia and in Washington, D.C., shooting most of my videos. It's a peculiar name to name a, uh, a Vietnamese dish. Okay, ooh, let me cut this. Let me get the knife out and cut this. Ooh, 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 let me, uh, it's already pre-cut a little bit. Uh, oh, ooh, ooh, here it is. <laughs> Wow. Mm. Whoa. Mmm. Yeah, that skin is very crisp, very thin. It has a nice snap to it, and the meat is very tender, this dark meat chicken. Oh, but let me try this sauce. I'm very curious what this reddish sauce is. <laughs> oh, here it is. Wow, oh. Yeah, that's not your normal, uh, not your normal fish sauce that accompanies most Vietnamese dishes. It's sour. It has a nice sourness and it's really uh, a pleasant contrast uh, and a pleasant compliment to the chicken. Oh, here's another piece. I'm dipping it in the, into the sauce. There's a bit of skin and meat on this one. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Oh, let me try some of these pickles. Uh, looks like some sort of pickled cabbage. Yeah, that's what it is. Mm, oh. Wow. That sauce, I don't know what is in it, but that sourness is really elevating anything that, that comes in contact with it. Ooh, and, and let me get some of this rice. It's red, you know, it's like red uh, on the color spectrum at the point where it turns orange. That's where this color lies. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's really good and enticing rice. Wow. It's lightly fried. I can tell it's been kind of whipped up and cooked up in a, in a wok. It has that kind of uh, 
stir-fried uh, personality about it. <laughs> uh, it's not sweet. It doesn't taste like tomatoes necessarily. I'm not exactly sure what's giving the rice that you know effervescent color. Mm. That bright distinctive color that it has. I don't know if there's tomato sauce in here and that's why it's called uh, tomato rice or something else but it's really good. I mean this entree is all about the chicken obviously. It's called Maryland chicken but that tomato rice is an essential uh, component of this entire uh, entree. It's, it's you know it's a vital part of it. Uh, Ooh, oh my lord, look at this. A big chunk of that uh, of that leg quarter. I think this is the 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 the, the roundish uh, drumstick part right here. <laughs> oh my. Chase it with the rice. Oh man. Excellent. Wow. Excellent. Ooh, let me try this tomato. Oh, let me just dip it slightly in the sauce. Oh, my own. Ooh. Mmm. Yeah. Wow, that the tomato and the, uh, the the pickles are really great with the the, the rice and the chicken. Oh, oh, cucumber. Mmm, mmm, nice. Mmm. There is a chicken dish in Vietnam that I'm aware of, that I've heard about, that I've seen on videos. I think it's a place in Saigon, if I'm not mistaken, where. They sell a Vietnamese uh, style fried chicken and the chicken is a leg quarter I believe and it's not deep fried but rather it's cooked and fried in a special apparatus where the uh, hot oil actually falls on top of the chicken like a waterfall. It's kind of, is it called waterfall chicken or something like that where a man is selling fried chicken at a kind of a, a storefront shop and you can see the chicken cooking because the, the, the oil kind of drops down on it like a waterfall onto the chicken. Uh, this is what this Maryland chicken reminds me of. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move on to another entree. It's also a bird. <laughs> this is quail. Uh, Vietnamese style quail and I don't think I've ever ordered this before. I've had quail before uh, uh, probably oh my it must be at least 30 years if not more since I've had quail probably at a Chinese wedding banquet or something like that because quail is not something I encounter or I uh, you know often I don't I don't I don't see it very often nor do I seek it out uh, but uh, I you know I know quail is something that's offered at Vietnamese uh, restaurants and so I ordered it because it was right next to the uh, <laughs> Maryland chicken on the menu and ooh the quail it, it has a nice reddish orangey color just like the, the chicken I don't know if it's treated in the same way and it comes with a, a whole uh, slew of uh, the, the, the tomato rice and it has the same pickles and the cucumber and the tomato and oh it doesn't have that reddish sour sauce though it has something that looks more conventional it looks like just plain fish sauce but oh let me try the the, the quail uh, as is before I dip it into anything <laughs> oh oh Oh, oh, it's a it's a smallish type type bird. Oh, wow! I just I just scraped a little bit of flesh off uh, with my teeth. Ooh. interesting. I was just able to scrape off a little bit of meat with my teeth. Uh, it's a very bony, small bird. Uh, let me just try. I, this is the drumstick I, I, 
I think. This is the drumstick. I th this is a meaty piece, I think. Oh. Wow. Oh. There's some small bones in there. Wow, yeah. I don't know if it's the natural flavor of the flesh or of the kind of uh, glaze that they put over it, but it has a there's, a, there's a kind of brightness and a sweetness about it. But it's really small. It's like a miniature, miniature chicken. <laughs> the skin and the flesh kind of just blends together and the skin has a way of not detaching. The flesh has a, has a kind of dark meat appearance to it, like, like dark meat chicken. Oh. Hmm. Okay, but I'm uh, <laughs> I'm doubling back now and uh, I'm digging into the chicken again. It's just a meatier, more substantial thing, and the skin it detaches from the flesh and it's crispier. And that red sauce is just. Oh man. It is so good. A quintessential part of look at this. This is dripping in that in that red sauce. Mmm. A very pleasing sourness to it. Wow. Look at this. Wow. Mmm. I think historically there was a chicken dish called Maryland chicken or chicken Maryland and it was kind of a chicken with a creamy sauce. So this is very different than uh, that historical dish called Maryland chicken or, or chicken Maryland as it were and uh, I don't see that around Maryland this Maryland chicken. I did see a Maryland fried chicken place in the state of South Carolina once when I was near the beach. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, like, like Kentucky Fried Chicken, uh, franchises, fast food uh, shops. And uh, yeah, ironically, there is no Maryland Fried Chicken, uh, a Maryland Fried Chicken chain, uh, <laughs> a franchise store in Maryland, the state of Maryland itself. I've been all over the state of Maryland and I've never seen a Maryland Fried Chicken. Okay, it is very cold out here today. My hands are, are getting numb and my body is feeling chilled. <laughs> And uh, I'll be getting on my way after I wrap up uh, these two entrees, the quail and the, and the Maryland chicken. Uh, I, I want to finish those and uh, move on. But uh, I want to thank you first for watching uh, and watching all the way to the end if you did. Thank you so much. Please leave a comment in the comment section. And please consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you next time. Hopefully it'll be warmer. <laughs> on my next food adventure. Take care. Bye-bye.